200 amps. It did start it. That is very, very impressive. Let's do capacity tests on this Okmo 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. Let's unbox this battery. Has some documentation, two sets of post bolts, and here's the battery itself. So they are saying a standard discharge current of 50 amps, but it does say that the BMS is a 100 amp BMS. Oh yeah, here we go. So max discharge current 100 amps, and it can be connected up to four in series and four in parallel. And on the battery itself, it advertises low temperature charging protection. We'll be testing that later on. I've put uh, this device on right here. This is what's called a shunt. It's able to measure the amount of power that comes in and out of the battery. And then I've got uh, the big 3000 watt Jumpa inverter uh, connected up here, along with an electric space heater. And what I'm going to try to do is pull more than 100 amps, which this battery is rated for, and uh, we'll see if we can trigger the protections in the, in the battery to turn off. All right, I've got the smart shut pulled up on my phone, and I'm going to put a screen recording up on the screen here so you guys can see what's happening. All right, let's see if we can overload this. Let's plug the heater in. Let's go ahead and turn just its fan on. And you'll notice we're pulling about uh, 38 watts. Let's go ahead and put it on low heat. Now you can see we are pulling 900 watts, 72 amps on the battery, 70-ish. Now it's dropping a little bit now that uh, the heating elements have uh, been heating up. All right, let's see if we can overload this going to high heat. 112 amps, 129, 139, dropping a little bit now. So far this battery is holding. So in an ideal world, uh, you'd like the battery to trip off uh, when it goes above its rated amount. Now some of these batteries have uh, tolerances so they can be overloaded for a minute and then uh, shut off. So let me go get uh, some more loads to plug in and uh, see if we can actually make this uh, happen. All right guys, I've got a heat gun plugged in now. In addition to the space heater, you can see that uh, the heat gun is currently pulling uh, 40 to 60-ish amps. It uh, cycles a little bit to, to keep the heat set to the way we want. So let's go ahead and turn the heat on on the space heater. That's on low heat, and uh, we're pulling 120-ish amps, 130 amps. Let's turn it up to high and see if we can get it to kick out. 200 amps. And still not kicking out. All right, we're gonna call that good more than twice what it's rated for and it did not kick off on overcurrent protection. Use a properly sized fuse. And that way you do not have to worry about is the battery going to you know, kick out itself or not. You know that the fuse will take care of you. Ideally in your system you guys want a uh, battery that uh, can handle surge loads well as well as the inverter. So we're going to see if uh, both of these can handle starting a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. This thing has an insane surge. I will hopefully uh, be able to capture it here on the Victron Smart Shunt. It may not be fast enough, but uh, let's see uh, what happens if we're able to start it or not. So I didn't quite uh, capture it, but it did start it. That is very, very impressive. Especially for this little battery. Great job, Okmo. Let's do capacity tests on this Okmo 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. You can see it's starting out here fully charged. What I got set up here is the Victron Smart Shunt is right there. You can see here that uh, in the app I've zeroed out the history, so everything is zeroed. And we're just gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna take uh, this cord right here. It's got a XT60i end on it. And uh, we're just gonna dump all this power into this anchor power station. You can see we're dumping in about 127, 125-ish watts into this power station. So we'll let this run, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of hours to see our capacity results. This battery capacity test is all finished. Uh, it ran until it fully discharged. I actually had to 
not wake the battery up with a quick little jump start because uh, the BMS had shut everything down. But uh, here are the results. Uh, we discharged a total of 98 amp hours, 1.3 kilowatt hours. Very, very close. Now this was less than a 0.2C rate of discharge. So sometimes that skews the numbers just a teeny bit. But, uh, so long as we're above 95, uh, I'm happy with that. 98 is very, very close to the rated 100 amp hour. All right, just took this uh, battery out of the freezer and uh, you can probably see all the frost and everything that's accumulating on the outside of the case here. So it should be a well frozen battery. It advertises right here that it has low temperature charging protection. So we're gonna try test that right now. I've got uh, the charger hooked up uh, here, except it's not plugged into the outlet yet. What's gonna happen is there's an LED right here. It's going to turn red for a short period of time, hopefully, and then immediately turn green, and this battery should reject the charge. So let's test this. So low temperature charging protection works flawlessly on this battery. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this Okmo battery. I would say definitely be sure and use a fuse if you get one. On the flip side though, it has really good surge capability. So that's really good. And really good low temperature charging protection. So it's just one of those no frills, get the job done kind of batteries. And it's selling for a really, really good price right now. So I've got a link down in the description. Be sure and check it out. Because if you want really good bang for the buck, this is definitely something to consider. So next I can add it uh, to the tower of power here. Let me know if uh, you guys are interested in seeing how this is all wired up and stuff. I actually really like these 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries uh, because they're just so flexible. You can use them as 12 volt batteries, you can use them as 24 volt batteries, you can use them as 36 volt batteries and 48 volt batteries, which is how I've got uh, them configured right here currently. And crazy but true, all of these batteries work in tandem with that big wall mount battery that you see there, as well as these two golf cart batteries down here. And quite often when you have a budget offering like this Okmo, you can get considerable amounts of power for a very cheap price if you're willing to put just a teeny bit of sweat equity into wiring things up. Anyway, leave a comment down below if you'd be interested in seeing more about uh, this uh, setup here with these batteries and how I've got them configured into my whole home power backup system. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe before you leave. There are four 100% free things, but they really, really benefit the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone, stay safe, and we'll catch you all next time.